What's up guys, Netherwood here, playing some World of Tanks for you. This is not part of a series or anything. Um, I know I haven't uh, been working on my World of Tanks series lately. But I've got some important information. Um, I know a lot of you guys that are in DGA and stuff, especially the EU guys, which we'll get to that in a second, the EU guys specifically. But I know a lot of you guys have had um, questions about what's going on with DGA, and what's going on with you know, DGA and World of Tanks, stuff like that. And so I got on this, the TeamSpeak server this weekend to talk to the guys on Friday. Um, I was going to do a live stream, but I didn't see anybody. Into, I, I didn't really broadcast that I was doing the live stream, so nobody really showed up. So what I did is I just hopped on the TeamSpeak to talk to the guys. So there's going to be some changes coming to the channel. I know if you guys have been around for a while, you know that I change up my channel a lot. Um, a lot of that has to do with strategy that I'm trying to do for YouTube, uh, new research I've done in YouTube and, and YouTube marketing and how to do YouTube and stuff and be successful with YouTube. And some of it has to do with just how I feel about the way my channels have been set up in the past, or my channel has been set up in the past, and stuff like, and what games I've been playing and things like that. So I've been doing that a lot lately, especially since Friday, uh, before Friday, uh, on Friday when I talked to the guys, we talked about a lot of different things, and then since Friday on what I want to do as far as the future of this channel as well as my Nether Void Let's Play channel, also uh, with DGA and streaming, basically the whole package. So what I want to do is change up my strategy once again, probably, hopefully this time for good, uh, in that what I want to do is, first of all, uh, the, probably the biggest change is, once again, I'm going to be pretty much bringing all my stuff over to just the Dungeon Guru Net channel, or some of you might know it as the Nether Space Void channel, uh, and I'll talk about that in a little bit as well. Um, I know it's kind of annoying that I've been flipping it back and forth a lot, um, but the, here there's a couple of reasons why um, I've done that in the past and created the second channel. First of all, I kind of figured that I was putting out so many combat videos, I didn't want to also put the Let's Play videos out because uh, it was kind of clogging the channel up. That's not going to be a problem anymore because I don't, I'm going to, that burned me out. I was putting out too many videos, I got burned out. That's one thing I learned. So that's not going to be a problem in the future as far as sharing the channel. Uh, secondly, I didn't like the name of my channel. Uh, that's one thing that if you read any, you know, you watch any videos on how to start your channel, and if you're thinking about YouTube, what you should think about, one of the first things they say is, you know, spend some time to really think about your channel name before you create your channel because you can never change it. And that is still holds true in YouTube. Once you create your channel, you can never change that name. Um, now, it, some people might say, well, I can just create a new channel, I'll have a new name, and I can just say, hey, subs, come on over. Let's do this thing again. First of all, there are a lot of behind-the-scenes numbers that are associated with your account that YouTube doesn't tell you about, and you can't see them anywhere, but mainly with your search rank, um, and it's kind of like your street cred with YouTube. Uh, the amount of hits you get, you know, shares, likes, all that stuff is recorded by YouTube, obviously. All of that is calculated into a number that uh, goes with the weight of your channel on YouTube for specific keywords and stuff. So the more of that weight you build up, um, the better you're going to fare in the search engine. So switching to a new account, if you've built up a really large search engine weight, is really going to hurt you. Uh, and not only in the fact that you're going to lose all the all the you know weight that you had, but you're going to lose a lot of subscribers that just don't care about moving over to your new channel, um, or they were on the edge, or they hadn't watched you in a while, and they don't, you know, the time you tell everybody about the channel move, they happen to not watch that time, and then they never see you again, and they figure you quit. Um, so there's a lot of things you're going to lose by doing that. So even though I had a, a channel name I didn't like, I couldn't just give up this channel. And that was an, actually an accident. I was trying to click something. Uh, I think I, a message popped up from a messaging system I had. I was trying to get rid of it, and I accidentally fired. But anyway, um, so I don't like the name Dungeon Gurunet for a YouTube channel. And a lot of that is because um, I, people think, I, at least this is my what I'm feeling, is that I think people feel like, I'm an advertiser for some kind of website, uh, trying to sell a product, stuff like that, or acti acting like I like video games and I really don't, or something like that, which is totally not the case. Um, the reason I had that name is because I was trying to make the YouTube channel and the website be about gaming and have more of a synergy, kind of. Um, and so I wanted to link the site to the, to the channel in that way. Um, but I always hated it because I think people didn't take me seriously. I know I got some flack for it on, on Reddit. People thought I was an advertiser and whatever. And I was like, no, this is just, you know, whatever. It's not the case. But 
luckily when Google came out with Google Plus and everything, you got the chance to hook up your Gmail with your YouTube account. And then I got the opportunity to change my account name. So I did that, and now it's Nether Space Void. Um, the URL didn't change, but it doesn't matter. As far as people are concerned, from the public's eye, the channel name has changed. Or the channel name is Nether Void. That's a person, not a, a, a uh, website. So that's a big factor, and now I really like my old channel. Again, that's helped me appreciate my old channel a lot more. Secondly, with the changes to the YouTube algorithm back in August of last year, so pretty much a full year ago, um, you can't just pick up a new channel and rank up in, in, in search. It doesn't work that way. Even if you have, you know, four or five hundred views per video, which in YouTube starting out is quite a bit. That's not, you know, that's, that's pretty decent. In fact, there are a lot of YouTubers I've met over the years I've done YouTube that would be just so happy to get a hundred views per video that's all they want to get that's their goal so four or five hundred views is a lot and there's really not much more I can expect out of it than that but four or five hundred just straight up views it's not gonna rank you in YouTube if you're not getting shares and other crap like that so this new channel with my let's plays is real I'm really having a hard time with it because I don't have the channel credibility for search waiting that I do with my original channel with you know three or four thousand views per video or whatever so let's get another game the next one will be my yog ponter I'm sorry if I said that wrong I'm that's as close as it's ever gonna get for me um, and it is what it is but I don't want to say jag panther because I think it's crap so anyway uh, let's get the other game that was a great game in my third though uh, that was pretty fun uh, Jackson people up had high damage and, and high experience and credits and stuff let's get that other game hold on let's go. so Here's a good game I just had on my Yagad Panther. I think that's closer to the way you're supposed to say it. Yagad Panther or something like that. Again, I'm never going to get this. Um, so anyway, those are the couple of reasons I don't really like my old channel and can't really do the new channel in a sense too. Um, also, there's another reason I can't really talk about, but next May I will be able to switch something on my channel that's gonna make me a lot happier and I can't really talk about it because I might get in trouble so I'm just gonna wait until next May it won't affect you guys but it's gonna make me a lot happier um, in doing doing YouTube and stuff and trying to be serious about it so anyway the changes so hopefully you're happy about that hopefully you guys like to see all the different kinds of videos and stuff if you only like World of Tanks that's fine just watch those. Those will be coming back in limited amounts. Um, and also War Thunder in limited amounts. It's really going to be whatever game I feel like playing. And also some Let's Plays that are hot and stuff like that. Because um, I'm only going to play them while they're hot on YouTube. Because Let's Plays are a little different. Uh, there's some In some games you can only play them while they're hyped up. And, and then after that you really can't. I mean if you're looking for growth. But anyway. So two channels will be merging again. The Nether Void channel I'll keep because I don't want to get rid of it. I like the name of it and stuff, but I won't be posting more videos there. I'm actually going to be moving some videos over from that channel so that this full series can be on this channel. And so you'll get a little bit of spam in the beginning, so sorry about that. Just try to ignore it. Try to, you know, just ignore that. I'm sure some people who don't watch this video will not have gotten the memo and are going to, you know, get pissed and drop me. That's fine. Whatever. It's going to happen. But I want all the series to be on the same channel. I don't like having sp series split up over two different channels. So, also, uh, so please, if you're subscribed, well, I guess you're, well, I'll post this to probably to both channels. I just won't claim it on the other one or something. So, another thing I wanted to talk about is uh, the changes, the main changes we're going to be doing to DGA is DGA is not going to be, uh, pretty much for the most part, DGA has been a World of Tanks clan. That's pretty much been our primary thing that we do. Yeah, we play other games on the side just for fun, whatever, right? But it's been pretty much um, World of Tanks. But that's going to be changing. Pretty much what we're going to be doing now is DGA is going to be a social clan. It's not tied to any one game. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we will form clans in each game that we play. Uh, you don't have to play in those clans. If you're more hardcore, you want to join like Relic and do Clan Wars and all that. That's totally, perfectly fine. You can still jump in the DGA um, team speak, and that's great. And hang out with the guys and all that stuff. It, you have, it's not going to close any doors to you. Uh, obviously, you won't really be able to be an officer in DGA if you're going to be in other people's clans all the time. If uh, DGA officers need to be the type of people that are going to basically be in DGA primary clans, uh, the primary clan in all these games, so they can help run it. Um, 
So, but what we're going to do is I'm going to try to start streaming every week, Friday or Saturday, and I'll announce those when I do it. Uh, so you guys know in advance through Twitter, probably Facebook, mainly Twitter, probably Facebook, a little bit through YouTube as well, just, just to let everybody know, hey, the stream's coming. And what we're going to do is we're all going to hop into te TeamSpeak, and we're all going to play whatever game we feel like playing that day. It might be League of Legends, it might be EVE Online, it might be World of Tanks, War Thunder, um, it might be Rome 2, a lot of us have Rome 2, it might be Civ, I don't really know what it's going to be. Oh, also it might be Minecraft. We're going to be doing uh, opening up. It's already pretty much active, but I haven't pumped it or anything. I haven't been on it yet either. But a lot of the DGA guys have uh, play on their own DGA Minecraft server that runs the DGA mod pack. So we might be playing that as well. We're going to be streaming whatever game we're playing. Everybody's going to be hanging out, having a blast. It's going to be great. That's going to be a time when I'm platooning with lots of people, trying to get as many people involved on the live stream as possible. I will also be recording the live stream so I can put it on our channel to show people what we do to have fun in DGA and sh you know give people some time to be on the channel as part of DGA. Um, and also be a little bit of um, you know promoting DGA to make sure the name DGA and what we're doing stays out there in the view of the public so they know how we, how we roll. So... This game is pretty much over. I felt like I did pretty good. Lots of damage on this on this uh, tank, and that's really the the, the prime prime uh, premier role or primary role of a TD is to do damage output. So I think feel like I did a pretty good job in these two games. The next game game I'm going to show you. I just bought the SU-152. It's on sale right now uh, for the push to the 268. I think on track to the 268. Uh, it was it was heavily on sale. I really wanted the the 100M because I like the more mobile uh, version and higher uh, fire rate. But I bought this because it was way, it was like 400,000 less, so I bought it. I did pretty good in it, but we get into a situation where the team won't push. Maybe we're out of big tanks. I don't really know. You guys can be, uh, figure out what went, went wrong. But we'll continue the conversation in the next game. Hold on. All right, we're back again. This is the this is my first battle in the SU-152. This is a tier seven Russian tank destroyer. I've been wanting to get this tank ever since the, the uh, I can't even remember what name of it is. It's um really taking a hiatus from tanks for a while. Not the 807. That, that, I think that's correct. Object, no, 708? Anyway, whatever. That thing is a massive gun. I've been wanting to get that tank and these, these like ISU-152 and SU-152 because these have huge heat, or huge HE guns. So this tank's a little bit different to play. You can see I only have 4 AP rounds and 22 heat, or HE rounds and that's because it's kind of the opposite here. HE is your primary weapon and AP is for like softer targets that don't have a lot of armor. Um, I didn't really realize they even had the AP loaded. It doesn't really matter. You'll see. You'll see. So anyway, that's what I'll be doing pretty much every weekend and during the week DGA will be playing on the TS server. It's up. I bumped it up to 50. Uh, it's maxed out at 50 people right now, and I can keep bumping it up. I don't really care. It doesn't cost a lot of money. I pay it with the YouTube money anyway, so you guys basically support that, that um, TeamSpeak server, so I'm, and that's great. I really appreciate that. The ad revenue supports that. Um, there will probably be more things like that with ad revenue. Now, there's a great shot. There we go, 600 damage on the ARL V39 because the armor is so weak. I, got, I just shot him right through the front. So... Hopefully you're really uh, excited about that. I know a lot of you guys want to platoon with me, want to play with me. I don't generally have time during the week, but this will give you lo lots of time, especially on the stream too. You can sit there with the, on the stream, platooning with me, or playing whatever game with me. That will be awesome. Um, I don't know how we're going to pick who's going to be playing the game with us. We'll figure out a way to do that. Um, we'll try to rotate people in and out and stuff like that uh, to try to get everybody involved. kind of wish I, I really got unlucky with that shot. Uh, one of the other things on the equipment on this, I only have a lane drive right now because I can't, I don't have the track so I can put the vent and the rammer on this thing. I got the lane drive because the aim time is so bad um, that I, I felt like that was probably a good idea. Um, so that's another big thing we're going to be doing and I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I hope I can keep it up and there might be days that I can't stream and maybe we can get, um, I can, you know, let everybody know that, hey, when another DGA member is streaming, go check him out instead, stuff like that. Um, and so that's pretty much the changes that are going to be happening. Um, again, there's going to be some spam as I move videos from the other channel over to make sure I have complete series. I'm thinking actually about moving the entire Civ 5 series over. Um, I know a lot of people liked that series, and when I moved it, they stopped watching it. So I think I stopped it video at, at episode 8 and that series actually has 60 episodes so what I might do is just move a couple over two three of those a week 
and then I can get them all over over time. Um, I don't really want to spam you guys with those. Um, I'm also going to try to be doing more collabs. I know I haven't been doing those for a while. The big reason I haven't been uh, so active on this channel, a lot of it's because I've been burned out, but also the rest of it is because um, with my job and this new adoption, I've just been kind of stressed out. So it happens, right? So the new channel, uh, not the new channel, the old channel right here, I'm probably going to be putting up two videos a day. One to two videos a day is pretty much what I'm doing right now. Uh, it kind of just depends on what I feel like recording and what pace I want to I want to do. I might go a little while between games if it's not a series. Like if I'm not doing a, a let's play, I might stop doing a game for a little while because I'm getting you know I don't want to burn out on it, or I'm getting bored of it. I just don't feel like playing it for a while. So the channel is mainly going to be centered around you like playing with DGA, you like my personality, you like watching my vids because of me, not necessarily the game I'm playing. So that's what I'm trying to get away from. I've been trying to do that for a long time. I've been really locked in to doing World of Tanks only because that's what I grew, you know, this channel kind of grew up on for a long time. But I will be doing World of Tanks videos. I'm not saying I'm not doing them. What I'm saying is that's not going to be the primary video on this channel. That's I will definitely be doing them on every stream at least probably getting, you know, I'll probably be getting I, I would like to do Learn It Live. I really liked that series. I I'm going to try to do that again. Possibly epic win, epic fail. That might be a, a, a series that you know that happens every two weeks or whatever it happens to be. I still like tanks. I still like playing. I got burned out a little bit. I was too stressed. If I'm really stressed, I don't play tanks because combat games stress me out. They're not stress relievers. They're stress adders for me. Um, and this is where my team kind of falls apart a little bit. If we were all pushed up, we could have taken these guys no problem. The IS whatever is really hurt. I could have taken them out in one shot. The uh, or not one shot, but I could have taken him out. Or at least helped take him out. The Tiger is pretty messed up. Just couldn't get really good beads on him. Really needed to get some pincer moves on these guys. Anyway. So that's what's going to be happening with this channel and also with the Nether Void channel. And hopefully you guys like that. Please like and favorite and comment. Let me know if you like that. Please like the video if you like that the strategy I'm going to be using. I also have some World, uh, some War Thunder footage that I need to comment over. I got a few good games over the weekend that I was playing a little bit and had a lot of fun on that, so I'll be checking that out. Also, tanks are coming out for War Thunder, so be on the lookout for that stuff. I will be doing that as soon as possible to show you guys what that is all about uh, as soon as I can play it. And maybe I'll be playing that on the channel. I probably will because Gaijin makes good games. They just have a weird business model that not everybody appreciates. The one thing I will appreciate is that there won't be any gold rounds in World of War Thunder Tanks. As far as I'm aware, there won't be. Which is, to me, one of the biggest flaws of, of, the, of World of Tanks, in my opinion. A lot of people don't agree with me, but a lot of people you would say the player base likes gold rounds. Well, you know why? That's because the people who don't like them have already left. And so their voice is not being heard anymore because they don't like gold rounds to the point that they have left the game. That's why you're not going to get their opinion anymore. There was a point in this game where the majority of player base did not want gold rounds in the game. That was a constant thing that came up. Most people said, I don't want gold rounds in the game. Those people are gone now. They don't play anymore. The people that are left are people that buy gold rounds and they use them and they like them. Or new players that have never seen a time where gold rounds weren't used very much or weren't loaded at all because you had to pay real money to even load them, period. Um... So anyway, that's what's going to be happening with the channel, and let me know what you think. Please like and favorite comment, and let me know uh, what you, how, what are your thoughts on this process. Again, I'm really sorry that for the, the seeming, well, for YouTube, this is pretty massive of a change, but hopefully this one will stick, um, because this is something I feel like I can sustain. I know enough about YouTube. I've tried all the different styles that I think are out there. I've tried these things, and I've found that I don't like them, and this is the one that I do like. Um, because at least if I don't get four or 5,000 views on a Dungecraft video, enough people will want to watch it that I get 1,000, and I'm okay with that. I used to kind of be pissed about that, but now I feel like, hey, that's actually fine. Uh, I didn't know enough about YouTube back then to know that that was normal, and now I do. I, I've I, uh, you know, been on this thing two years now, going on three, to be real honest, but anyway... Um, so let me know what games you want to play in the live stream. I'm going to put another video out talking about the live stream, talking about when it's going to happen. It's probably going to be Friday again. Sorry for you uh, European guys, but a lot of stuff is happening now for, for me right now on Saturday mornings, and I'm just not able to get to the stream on Saturday morning. Um, we might have some alternative DGA streams going on Saturday morning. I'd love to do that for the EU guys. 
but it's not in the cards probably for this Friday. Or, I'm mean, sorry, this Saturday. Maybe next Saturday I can do it. I don't really know. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Anyway, please let me know what you think. I'd really appreciate feedback. I always appreciate it. I always listen to it and read every comment. So even if I don't reply, it doesn't mean I'm not reading the comments. So thanks a lot, guys. See you later.